Hello, hey everybody. It's Patty here and I am going over my January 29th paycheck. And yes, I am putting it into my February. This is the Budget Mom box set. Individual books for, a monthly, um, for your monthly budgeting. I am a paycheck budgeter. That means that I don't live paycheck to paycheck, but I certainly budget paycheck to pay paycheck using the Budget Mom method been at this for about 15 months now and just noticed a very big difference. I have a couple of tweaking things to do for February. Um, things that I've learned by watching other YouTubers with budgeting and so I just want to point out one of the things. So I haven't been watching, I've been, I take cash out on a weekly basis for my sinking funds and for my envelopes. So in February, I want to only take out cash for everything. My I'm, I've added a couple of new envelopes for February. Date night is one of them. And then for Grace, because she has um, winter vacation coming up, so she has PCAs that take care of her. And if they want to go out, they'll have money. And going out, you know, if they want to grab a coffee or if they want to take her to Target, which these young, younger generation loves Target and they love to get her a couple little things. That way they have money and they don't have to spend their own. So those are the two new envelopes I'm starting in February. As well as I'm going to try to track every time I use cash. So like today, those are my cash, the cash that I took out for my sinking funds. But so today I put $15.00 of my money and five dollars of my husband's money in a football pool at work so i put this little sticker here and these stickers i got from etsy kara joe plans so i got three different colors so the pink i'm going to use as cash and then i haven't decided what the pink the yellow or gray is going to be as of yet but how i'm going to use them is whenever i spend cash in the month I'm going to try to do it on a weekly basis. I'm going to put a sticker here on the date that I use it. Obviously, because I'm using my January 29th paycheck, I'm just putting it down in fe in February already. So that was $20. So that way, then at the end of the book here, I've never kept a cash um, tracker before. So I'm going to track cash as I use it in that pay period or paycheck. Um, so so this is this is what I, what I mean. So this is going to be my cash, and hopefully I won't go past the page. My cash spending. This is going to be for the month. So I don't know if I should have put that hundred dollars in because I took out a hundred dollars today. I'm not sure if I should have put that in there, but. That's why I put that there. So then I put today's date, 129, and football pool at work. It came out of my personal, P personal. Usually I put 25. I give myself $25 a week. This week, as you'll see, I only gave myself 15, and then I put it right at the pool, the football squares. And then Gary, I also put $5 of his in for the football pool at work. So I'm gonna try to track my cash in a cash tracker kind of watching a couple of miko's videos and um that way you know i i really know where my cash is being spent okay and then the other thing that i'm tweaking in february is i'm going to keep in my personal account right so i use the small booklet these the box set for my personal account monies I'm going to do one page, so this is a tracker, obviously one page per paycheck. So this was the January 29th paycheck, and this is, you know, the tracker for it, versus doing it for the month, because in January I did it for the month, and it worked out okay, but in the big book, I use the big book for joint funds, I just found it easier to track and really see where, where my money was being spent when I did it weekly. And I got that great idea from um, a YouTuber, Jen, who also I get a lot of stickers from Etsy, Life in My Envelopes. So check out her shop. So the next week, so this will be January 29th to February 4th, 
and then the February 5th paycheck will have its own tracker. And we'll see how that goes at the end of the month to really, really going to be cautious of how we spend money, I spend money in February. So let's get to it. So this is my February calendar. Okay. Nothing very exciting in here. Because again, my money goes for uh, most all of the savings, the, the sinking funds, groceries, etc. So then on the thoughts and notes page, just like I did in January, I put the col different color markers and what they stand for, for tracking. And then I listed in here, right here, two new sinking funds, date night and grace fund. Fun, fun, fun for grace. So this is my first paycheck of February, January 29th. So I did have two hours of overtime, so it's a little a little higher. 303. I rolled over $161 in a cushion. And then tomorrow I'll get my side gig of $50. So I have $514 to work with. So automatically, because I was I rolled over $161.19, which $160 of that is my cushion. Plus I put in an additional $20 for a cushion. Netflix was $13.99. We've been paying Netflix now for two months. We're not using it and I just canceled it. I got some peanut butter from Cape May Peanut Butter Company. Um, really, really good. It's different flavor peanut butters. So that was $25.46. I'm putting that under specialty grocery. And then down dine out debit, which you know how I feel. I don't want to be using our debit card for dine out. I'm trying very hard not to do that. A couple of the restaurants that we go to only take debit and can't use cash. So that's going to be far and few in between, but I did use 3817. So that was a total of 25762. So I had 256 to work with. But, re but remember, the $50 isn't coming until tomorrow. So I cut back a little bit on our um what I took out for my envelope. So I usually give myself 25. This week I gave myself 15. I usually take out 60 for groceries. I'm only doing 40. We don't need that many groceries. I am going to do a video on what we have in the pantry and freezer. And we're really going to just try to, you know, February to really limit our grocery purchases. Dine out. Um, I usually do $25. I didn't, did not put anything in there this week. I might take it out of the joint, but I didn't want to take it out of here. Uh, LHHP, I usually put 5 to $10. I did not put any this week. My husband, I'm giving him $25. And then 100 envelopes, nothing this week. House cleaning, nothing this week. Date night, nothing. Fun for Grace, nothing. And the L for love, which is my word challenge, will actually be next week. So that was a nothing as well. These are automatic transfers that happen on a weekly basis. So it's my Alley account, 25, 10 for Christmas fund, and emergency fund is 25. I do have four sinking funds. I, I do... Definitely want to continue with that. So I put $20 aside for that. Nothing for BJ's and the February challenge is $20. I had already put $10 in. So nothing there as well. And then, so when I get that $50 tomorrow, I will most likely put it in. I'll take probably $20 out for dine out, I guess. And maybe $10 for my wallet. So I did not pay anything on my credit card or Gary's credit card. And I did put uh, $25 in savings, my personal savings. So this is my cash envelope breakdown. And this is what I take to the bank to get the cash out. Um, it just shows you 15, 40, 25, and 20. So it was hundred dollars. And then my money thoughts, same as last month. More cash envelopes versus using the debit. That's new this month. And then no personal using my personal account. So that's really my paycheck. So next week's paycheck will be February 5th, which is the first month, the first week actually in February. And then quickly, oh, I needed that, but so $40, I have $40 for my grocery envelope, and then Gary gets 20, and then four fives right here for my little sinking funds booklet here, and $5 goes into friends, birthdays, holidays, 2021, the pool fund, 2021, and then Gracie's birthday, and that's it for the week, um, until next week. Um, you know, a little limited, but it's really cold here in Fairhaven, Massachusetts. It's like 11 degrees. I know there's, there must be a cold front across the United States these days. Um, so really buckle down and stay home and 
don't spend money. Have a good week. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.